And now for our India Today magazine special that focuses on new cancer treatments being explored in India where in 2020 alone 8 lakh people died of the disease. Until recently there were many reasons why those diagnosed with cancer treated the news as being akin to a death sentence. But now cellular interventions and new technologies that our next report talks about will give you every reason to believe that science eventually will triumph over the emperor of maladies with changing treatment strategies. I, along with Sonali Acharji, get you this report. Long before COVID-19 entered our lexicon, cancer was the big C. In fact, all through the pandemic, cancer continued to kill. In the year 2020, nearly 8 lakh people died of cancer in India. Almost seven times those felt by COVID. Cancer's rising graph in our times resembles that of an epidemic. The numbers through the years tell us why this disease is rightly called the emperor of maladies. It killed 382,000 people in India in the year 1990. By 2016, that had more than doubled. Absolute numbers related to the annual increase in disease burden show that the cases have gone up from 5,48,000 in the year 1990 to 1.16 million in the year 2016. Indeed, the numbers seem to start to double at each layer of projection, almost like cancer cells multiplying. By 2025, India will have nearly 30 million cases or about 2% of our entire population. But science is tightening its grip too. The treatment strategies have moved far beyond aggressive chemotherapies and radiation, also surgery. Immunotherapy and a handful of allied or parallel advances truly come like light at the end of the tunnel. Over two-thirds of our cancer patients present to us in advanced stage 3 and 4. Due to advances in the diagnosis, newer molecular testing and the radi radiological imaging and the availability of the newer targeted drugs and the immunotherapy, the cancer patients are getting very good results. Many of our advanced stage cancer patients, they surviving for many years with good quality of life by using these drugs. Kiran Majumdar Shaw, chairperson of Biocon. Along with famed author and researcher, Siddharth Mukherjee has co-founded Immunil, an Indian immunotherapy company that is running CAR-T trials in India. CAR-T cell therapy is a form of immunotherapy that uses specially altered T cells, a part of the immune system to fight cancer. I am very pleased to see that it's not just Immunil, but there are many other companies who have also recently jump into the and, and I think that's very welcome news because India as a country must offer this therapy at an affordable cost. That is the opportunity we have. Currently the treatment strategies are chemotherapy which is a drug based treatment using chemicals to kill cancerous cells but has serious side effects like the chemicals affect other cells as well causing hair loss, insomnia, fatigue lowered appetite and body pain. Surgery. If the cancer is isolated in a single area, surgery is often used to entirely remove the tumor and surrounding cells. The challenge is if the cancer is in a sensitive area like the brain and radiation or radiotherapy where a patient is exposed to high doses of radiation to kill cancer cells. The side effects are similar to that of chemotherapy. Treatment protocol is moving from chemotherapy and radiation to gene and cell-based therapy, which not only has far less side effects, but also the potential to completely cure cancer. Cancer cells have a mechanism to escape the immune system of the body. And the immunotherapy disrupts this immune system to re-trigger your immunity against the cancer cells. How is it given? It is given as a small infusion of about one hour. The drug is dissolved in saline and infused over one hour. It's a simple daycare admission. Immunotherapy is not meant for everybody. 
immunotherapy has shown unprecedented success in a few cancers. Conventional chemotherapy has various side effects. It is like an artillery shells, which not only kills the cancer cells, but also damages normal cells, having a long side effects. But immune checkpoint inhibitors are more precise and they have, in general, less side effects. Secondly, because immune checkpoint inhibitors also activate a group of immune cells called memory T cells, these cells remember that cancer cells. So sometimes the effect of immune checkpoint inhibitor drugs outlast their actual physical presence. Meanwhile, India has launched the country's first indigenously developed vaccine against the vital cancer called Servavax. This has been developed by the Serum Institute of India. It is much more affordable as compared to the other imported vaccines being used in the country right now. With input from Sonali Acharji for the India Today magazine, Sneha Mordani in Delhi for India Today.